Hello everyone, my name is Berta and welcome back to my channel. Today we are making the two characters for my eco lifestyle let's play and we're going to use as many eco lifestyle items as possible so I'll also be able to give you my opinion on the creator sim of this pack which spoiler alert I'm quite happy about it. Anyways this is Kainoa Kapile which is the daughter from my island living let's play and she's going to be one of the two characters for my eco lifestyle let's play. So right here I'm giving her a makeover because I ju had just aged her up into a young adult so she looked ridiculous. If you look closely <laughs> you can see the outrageous outfits that the randomizer gave her. It, it is ugly, <laughs> like seriously. She looked ridiculous. So yeah, we are using as many items from the eco lifestyle pack as possible and right here I'm using the cute dress. Kind of was more like a cutesy, sweet kind of girl. So we're using the more like, what would you call this? Uh, I believe the English are called it cottagecore vibe of the of the pack. There is like th that kind of vibe and then there's more the edgy vibe that I'm gonna give my other sim. So there's gonna be a big difference between the two. Both of the characters have a background story that I made up for them and I'm gonna concisely give you the story, like not a long version, but the short version. And the short version is that Kainoa and Leandra, which is the name of the other character, are pen pals and Leandra comes from Evergreen Harbor. And Kainoa wasn't so sure what she wanted to do in the future. She was like, should I follow in my father's footsteps and become a conservationist or, you know, go into marine biology or whatever. She wasn't really sure. She just knew that she wanted to help the world and the environment in some way. And then Leandra called like, girl, we're having a problem here. Evergreen Harbor has gone downhill so fast and it needs our help. And so they bought a container home together and are now are now combining their powers <laughs> that sounds like they're superheroes but you get what i mean to kind of restore evergreen harbor to its green state that it used to be anyways kainoa's traits are not the traits that she's going to eventually have she's going to be a vegetarian she's going to be the eco fiend which means that she will be dedicated to greenify her the area where she lives in so that is the perfect trait for the story that i have in mind and she's not gonna be the freegan but she's gonna be the recycle disciple which means she's gonna want to recycle everything and she's also ugh, i forgot the name of this aspiration but she wants to make new like inventions and stuff to better the environment and so that's what she's gonna want to do and now I just want to comment quickly on some of the items that I've used on Kainoa. I think that this style of outfits, like the, the more college core um, cutesy kind of items are not my thing, but they are good items. So if they are your thing and you think you're gonna use them a lot, they are very good items. I think the hairs look cute and and edgy. There's, there's just the one, the, <laughs> the Lord Farquaad hairstyle i don't think i'm ever gonna use that i think that looks a bit ridiculous but all the other hairs are just good so yeah i'm very happy about the hairs and then as i said the clothing not everything is my style but they all look good look at this curly hair i love the curly hair okay and the dress is super cute and there are many swatches of most things there are like swatches of one color but there are also like like prints printed like the checkered uh, dress you, you you get what i mean i can't find the english words today please forgive me guys i don't know what's happening to me so uh, and i really like this uh, denim jacket with all the different colors and stuff so that's really nice there's not swimwear or like typical sleepwear in this pack but i personally don't really mind that because there is enough other things in the game already and there's also custom content. <laughs> I mean, we all know I can't live without my custom content. I know that many people don't play with custom content, so that's why I mentioned that there is a lack of like swimwear and sleep clothing, but I didn't miss it even when I am using mostly eco lifestyle items. So that's the point I was gonna make. <laughs> Anyways, 
to the next character. This is Leandra Rowland and this girl is kind of opposite from Kainoa. Leandra is a really tough girl and she has an edgy style. As you can see, I gave her piercings. Personally, I love the piercings. Like, I love that, I that they finally gave us plugs. I love plugs personally. I don't have them myself, but I really do love them. And you know, the piercings that we got with university, they were like the studs and everything. And they were all right, but they were so big and chunky and they didn't look good. And even though the rings that we got now, they are still quite big. They look fine, at least in my opinion. So I really love the piercings that we got. Well, let's just get into uh, Leandra, her personality first. So Leandra, as I said, is more of a tough girl. She is a freegan, so she likes to rummage in trash and she she will get good deals out of that. At least that's what the trade says, so we'll find out. She's also very self-assured and she also has the maker trait. She's a creative kind of sim. She really loves making all kinds of stuff and she also has the maker aspiration. The thing is, is that her dream is to open a shop where she can sell all her crafts. She really likes making things and she really wants to share her love for crafts with the world. So that's why she really wants to open this shop. But she doesn't have much money, so that's gonna be something to work towards in the Let's Play. What we also know about Leandra is that she likes girls. She is a lesbian. She's not in a relationship, neither is Noah. So just extra information, <laughs> there you go. And about the items that I'm giving her, like the eco lifestyle items that are a bit more edgy, I love them so much. These are like items in the style that I have been missing in the game. I really like the edgy style myself. And when I want to make edgy sims, in the sims without any cc that is so hard in my opinion and we got some really good like different kind of items in this pack and i really like that so i am very pleased with basically most of the items in this eco lifestyle pack the one thing besides the lord farquad hairstyle that i'm not a fan of <laughs> is the skirt denim pants thing what even is that? I have never seen an item like that in real life. Never. Now I must say I'm not a fashion kind of person, but never. <laughs> As many people said, I really hope that they are gonna that there's a CC creator that's gonna separate them because I do like the style of the thing. Like the, the skirt itself would be nice because it's asymmetric and I would like the pants by itself because it's, you know, torn up and stuff. I really like that. But the combination of the two, I just don't know how they come up with that. Really strange. But yeah, for the rest, I like most of the things. Not everything is my style, but I do really like the Create a Sim items from this pack. So if you are a Create a Sim kind of person, this pack is good in that aspect. I don't know about the rest of the aspects yet. I haven't played yet and I haven't built yet, so I can't say anything about it, but the creative seems good in my opinion. Also, something that just popped up into my head. I have never done a, a base game sim or a sim without CC before. If that is something you would like to see from me, like either only base game or, you know, any kind of packs, let me know which specific packs if you want to, but without CC, let me know because I am down to do that. It will be a big challenge because I'm addicted to CC. But if that's something you want to see from me, let me know that in the comments, okay? Also, I will be making many more videos about the Eco Lifestyle pack, so please stay tuned for that. I'm gonna make a build or furnish video and I am going to do the Let's Play, as I said. So there's gonna be many more videos the coming few days. We are almost at the end of the video, so I'm gonna wrap it up here. Stay tuned for screenshots of all the outfits at the end of this video. If you want The Sims to be posted on the gallery, please let me know because I'm not necessarily gonna do that if nobody wants it. And there is CC in this Create a Sim. It, you might have seen that. <laughs> so if you want me to do a CC list, please let me know as well. Yeah, 
Stay tuned for my eco lifestyle let's play. It's coming very, very soon and I'm super excited. So if you like let's plays, please don't hesitate and subscribe to my channel. Let me know in the comments down below what you are most excited for, for the eco lifestyle pack. And also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me a lot. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.